Hey y'all, today's grocery haul is coming from Kroger, Walmart, and Aldi. And it's gonna be a little bit different today because I went to Walmart twice. So y'all gonna see two Walmart grocery hauls in one video. And the reason why I went to Walmart twice is because, I don't know if y'all know this, but I am a long distance caregiver, which means a couple of weekends out of the month, I am out of town taking care of my mom. And those weekends, I don't usually grocery shop because y'all know I do all of my grocery shopping on the weekends, but when I go out of town, I don't. So what I do is I try to check my pantry, refrigerator, and freezer when I get back for that whole entire week. We clean the pantry, refrigerator, and freezer out. I put together meals based off of what we have on hand. This week, that didn't happen. We ran completely out of food by Wednesday, which led to me going to Walmart twice. But anyway, let's get into this video. I'm gonna show you everything that I bought at all the stores. Kroger is a part of my normal grocery haul, so let's start there. The Frito-Lay chips was $7.99. I got the Doritos and Cheetos mix, and that comes with three Cool Ranch, six Nacho Cheese, three Cheeto Puffs, and six Crunchy Cheetos. With school in session, this will make a good side option for my daughter's lunch. During the month of August, you'll notice that school lunch options will begin to go on sale. The mega size Fruity Pebbles were on sale for $2.99. When you're in a hurry, this is a quick, breakfast option for the kids. It's not as nutritious as let's say oatmeal or an acai bowl, but it's something in their bellies and it will keep them somewhat full until lunchtime. The Driscoll's brand blueberries were on sale for 99 cents and the limit was five. I only grabbed one. This is a good fruit option to add to your oatmeal or cereal. My dad planted a blueberry bush many years ago and if you don't get there at just the right time, the birds will eat all of of the blueberries, which is what happened this year. So by the time I got out there, they were all gone and I was so disappointed. Next year, you can best believe I will be there once they're ripened. The Chobani flips were a dollar each when you downloaded the $2 off coupon on the app. Y'all, these things are so delicious. My kids love the cookie dough flavor. They only had four left, so I grabbed all four of them. The bananas were $1.51. Now when it comes to produce, Kroger and Albertsons have Walmart and Aldi beat as far as appearance. Now, price is a whole other story. I'm not sure why things have to cost as much as they do at those two grocery chains, but they do. The drumstick simply dipped ice cream cones were $3.99. And the flavors I chose were mint, vanilla fudge, and vanilla. These were the only ones that I could find that were not covered in nuts. A majority of their products have nuts. And my kids are allergic. So I just bought some ice cream. It's just a little something to keep us cool in this hot, Texas heat. The Cokes were on sale for $3.99. They had every version of every soda on sale. This also included Pepsi products as well. Regular price for a case of Coke these days is around $7 to $8, depending on where you get them. So $3.99 for a case of soda is a great price. Now let's take a look at everything I got at Kroger before moving on to my first Walmart haul. <laughs> Now let's take a quick look at part one of my Walmart haul. These are just a few items that I bought to get us from Wednesday to Saturday. The gallon of 2% milk was $2.72, and I'm feeling some type of way for buying it because Albertsons had a sale going where you buy $6 worth of Quaker Oat products, including Captain Crunch, and you'll get a gallon of milk for free. Y'all, I just could not do it because this Texas heat would have you making all of the wrong choices because it was just too hot to do any type of shopping. So I passed up on that deal, but I am feeling some type of way for not getting my free gallon of milk. The Great Value Family Pack of Tea was $1.94 each. This was another staple in my household that we had run completely out of. And running out of tea is just like running out of oxygen. We cannot have that happen. The Little Debbie Cosmic Brownies were $2.68 and the Oatmeal Cream Pies were $2.78. We had enough desserts or snacks to get us through to the weekend without me having to bake a cake or cookies. The 18 count large great value eggs were $1.80. Eggs and milk were key missing ingredients that I needed to complete my recipes from scratch. 
The creme brulee coffee was $3.97. We haven't had this in a while, so I grabbed it while it was on rollback. They had this and also they had the French vanilla on sale. Now, the next time I go shopping, hopefully they'll have pumpkin spice because y'all know it's almost time. The great value caramel syrup was $2.18. You can't have creme brulee coffee without caramel syrup and whipped cream. This is one of the ingredients that I use when making my version of Starbucks caramel ribbon frappuccino. If you want to see how I make it, I have a short that goes through the entire process. The Great Value Butter Flavored Syrup was $2.36. We had run completely out and you cannot eat pancakes without, well you can, but it wouldn't taste good without syrup. The Great Value Half and Half was $4.68. It's down 30 cents from two months ago. It used to be $4.98. The Great Value Biscuits were $1.78. I'm going to be making sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwiches. Not only are these for breakfast, but we'll also have a few for lunch. The Great Value Sugar was $3.12. It's down six cents from two months ago. It's still higher than Aldi, and y'all know it pained me to get this here, but we were completely out and I had to get another bag of sugar. This Walmart grocery haul took place literally right before I started working at 7.30 a.m. Aldi doesn't open until nine, so we needed sugar, and I just went ahead and got it while I was at Walmart. The extra fluffy original pancake mix was $1.98. So this is why I needed syrup because I cannot make pancakes without syrup. The grits were $2.08 each. So do y'all see a common theme here? I've purposely bought a lot of breakfast options because we're doing breakfast for dinner, at least until the weekend, until I can do my weekly grocery shopping. The bananas were $2.29. Now these came before the bananas that you saw in the Kroger haul because this was that extra Walmart grocery haul that helped us make it until the weekend. The Kroger haul was my normal weekly grocery haul. The tissue was $15.98 and y'all, I cannot with this price of tissue. We have four bathrooms in my house and I usually buy a pack for upstairs and one for downstairs. We were literally down to the wire with toilet paper. So I just grabbed this. I had no idea it was $15.98. Now here is my normal weekly Walmart grocery haul and it was an online order. The snowballs were $4.38. Now I ordered the two pack because my son loves these things. But since they didn't have the two pack, we ended up with this 12 pack. My oldest son and I are the only two who eats these. And my husband feels the same way about these snowballs that Tallahassee did in Zombieland. Snowballs. Yeah. Snowballs. The 12 count cookies and cream Hershey's candy was $2.28. This usually appears in my grocery hauls when school is in session. I got these for my daughter's lunch. The ocean spray cranberry sauce was $1.98. I'm going to be cooking stuffing with my oven baked chicken breast this week. So I grabbed a can. This should be going on sale in the next month or so in preparation for Thanksgiving. And when it does, I'm going to be stocking up. The great value low fat cultured buttermilk was $1.38. I use this when I'm cooking oven fried chicken because I'm not that great at frying chicken. So when I'm using buttermilk, I add kosher salt, buffalo wing sauce, and eggs. Then I whisk it all together. After that, I place my washed chicken in the bowl with the mixture, and I let it marinate for about three hours. And you are talking about some good, delicious, flavorful, moist, oven fried chicken. The 32 ounce of half and half was $2.60. We weren't completely out of the half and half from my first Walmart grocery haul, but I do like to have backup once it goes empty. Coffee is a must in this house. The lemonade flavored Kool-Aid was 30 cents each. For those of you who don't know, we love to drink tea in this household. And since lemons are so expensive, I've been substituting them for the lemonade Kool-Aid. The Imperial Butter was $1.38 each. Now this was one thing that I ran out of and I forgot to get in my first Walmart haul, but didn't stress about it because I knew that I was going back to the store when the weekend came. We are having chili dogs again this week. With my busy schedule, this is something quick and easy that I can put together while still checking boxes off of my to-do list. The Great Value Hickory Smoked Bacon was $3.72. I bought the 12 ounce because the kids are back in school. So I only cook breakfast for my husband, daughter, and myself. My daughter leaves much later than the boys, so she actually has time to sit down and eat breakfast. The Great Value Premium Sausage is $2.32 each. I'm going to be using one roll for my spaghetti. I like to combine the sausage with ground beef. And the other one is for my sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit sandwiches.
The oven roasted deli turkey was $4.72. Now I ordered the applewood flavor, but they substituted it with the oven roasted. Now it's all good, but I would have preferred the applewood. Now if I was shopping in the store, I would not have picked up this oven roasted. The great value flaky jumbo biscuits were $1.78. I'm going to be using this to make the sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwiches. The chicken was $12.08 combined. And I'm not sure how they came up with that price because both packs combined did not total $12. And for me, that's the drawback to ordering online because they do charge extra for weighted items. The hefty plates were $2.94. Now when I go back to Sam's, I'm going to get their 250 count pack. Those seem to last a good while in my house. Let's take one last look at both Walmart hauls before moving on to Aldi. <laughs> The coffee cakes were $2.79. It was a little something that I grabbed to add to my snack bar this week. The confetti cake muffins were $2.19. The chocolate chip was $1.99 and the brownie fudge was $2.19. My kids don't like the same flavor, so I bought them their own box. This is another item that doesn't usually show up in my weekly grocery hauls. It only comes around when school starts. The mixed fruit was $2.39. My daughter asked for this for her lunch box, so I grabbed two. This will last two weeks. The cantaloupe was supposed to be $1.29 each, but now that I'm looking at my receipt, they rung this up as cucumbers, y'all. I don't know how they got cucumbers out of cantaloupe, but they both rung up for 49 cents each. And y'all, the manager was checking me out. I really don't know how he came up with cucumbers as cantaloupe. The baby spinach and arugula was $2.89. I do feel like I'm not buying enough leafy greens, fruits, and vegetables in my grocery haul. So this week, I decided to change the narrative. Y'all are going to see a lot of fruits and vegetables in this grocery haul. The Roma tomatoes were 53 cents for both. I will be using these in my salads and homemade burgers this week. I really wanted to plant tomatoes so that I can stop buying them in the store, but I think it's too late in the season and I don't even think they will survive this 110 degree heat here in Texas. The celery was $1.79. I'm going to chop this up, portion it out, and then I'm going to place them in Ziploc bags before freezing them. That way, if I need to cook them in a meal, they are already pre-chopped and all I have to do is it's just unthawed them prior to cooking. The cosmic apples were $2.89. My kids really love them and would prefer them over red delicious, Fuji or green apples. My daughter actually adds one to her lunch every day. The sweet cherries were $4.82. Now, I don't understand why these things have to be so expensive, yet they are so good. I try to wait until they go on sale, but even when they're on sale, they are still expensive. The grapes were $2.13 for one bag and $2.07 for the other. I think I nailed it with increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables we're adding this week. We do have a lot of healthier options. The Kobe Jack shredded cheese was $1.89 and the sharp cheddar was $2.89. The shredded cheese goes quickly in my house because we use this just about every single day. The provolone and Kobe Jack sliced cheese was $1.89 each. I do cook a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches for the boys as well as make ham and cheese subs with all of the fixings. So sliced cheese also goes fast around here too. The mozzarella blocked cheese was $1.99. My family loved those homemade mozzarella cheese sticks so much that I had to get another block of cheese to make another batch. The Kobe Jack was $1.99 each. I grabbed these because I'm going to be making snack packs with the grapes. The pistachios were $3.19. My husband and I snack on these when we're in bed binge watching our favorite crime shows on ID. The grass fed beef was $4.69 each. I'm going to be cooking beef empanadas, sloppy joes, homemade burgers, and Salisbury steak. Now these meals will be stretched out over the course of two weeks. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until the next grocery haul, bye everyone.